Braves go for a two game sweep of the Washington Nationals and Atlanta needs to keep winning because the Mets won earlier today come from behind victory over Toronto so they are a half game up right now over the Atlanta Braves. Right hander Jake Kerbin is on the mound for the Nationals. He makes his fourth start of the year against the Braves and his 30th start of the season overall. Starts have been some, somewhat rough of late. He's given up 13 runs in his last two starts. Harris a swing and a miss at a fastball up and away. That's how this game gets started for Jake Kerbin. Solaire in 32 games with the Braves has hit only 190. He swings and it's one of the ground right side. Yep, as way wide has it. He'll make an underhanded flip to Jake Urban coming over to cover. Hit well to short, but C.J. Abrams is right there. Couple shuffles into a throw. And Jake Irvin, a one, two, three, first. Max Freed in this ballpark. He hasn't lost in this ballpark since 2019. In fact, the Braves have won his last seven starts in this ballpark. So he's going to be confident no matter where he's pitching, but especially here. And he'll tap one out to first, gloved by Matt Olson. Big Matt takes it to the bag, one pitch and one down. Little and old for his last 10 officially with a sack fly in there. Gets the barrel to it. And a line drive single out to left. The one out single to left center to snap his hole for 10. So now the batter is Andres Chaparro. Ground ball left side, glove by Urshela. To second, they get one. Bijou to first, and they get two. Max gets those balls on the ground. This time he gets it for two outs. That'll bring Orlando RC to the plate. He homered in last night's win. Swinging a chopping ground ball up the third baseline. Vargas charging in back, bare hands and throws in time to Yepes for the out. Really nice play by Ildemaro Vargas charging in from third. He was back, and that was kind of a swinging bunt. And he makes the barehanded pickup. Great play by Ildemaro. One out here in the second inning. That'll bring up Juan Yepes. And that is a rocket to left field, down for a base hit, going all the way to the wall. Uh, two hops to the wall, up with it out there. Ramon Laureano fires it in. Close play at second, and they've got their man. Ramon Laureano with a bullet from deep left, and they cut down Juan Yepes, attempting to go into second base feet first. Boy, what a throw. One hop a right to Biggio, and he put the tag right on the right toe of Juan Yepes. Three hits in a row by the Nationals. A couple hit really well. They have runners on second and third with two out. Ildemaro Vargas coming up. One and two as Freed tries to wiggle his way out of the second inning. He got him. Good sweeper takes care of Vargas. Three hits for the Nats, but nothing to show for it. So Urban's retired seven in a row. Now Kevin Biggio for his first at bat with the Braves. And that's inside corner painting with the fastball at 94. And that's strike three call. Third strikeout for Irvin. What a perfect pitch that was. There's Gio Urshela swinging a foul tip held by Ruiz. Irvin strikes him out. So Jake has retired nine straight to begin his outing and he has four strikeouts. So he hits Young an infield single for Abrams. So there's been some of this bad luck. The batting average on balls and play is a number that we talk about a lot of times and with Max against lefties it's over 400. What does that mean? It means he had some really bad luck. League average is usually under three. It's two on nobody out and now here's Dylan Cruz. So we had a line drive right side that's going to be down for a base hit. Coming around third is Young. He's going to head home. He will score. Solaire throws it in towards second as Abrams is over to third. Nationals lead 1-0. Dylan Cruz, an RBI single to right. He's two for two in this game. What a great swing right here by Dylan Cruz. Staying inside it. Four-seamer and just drives it to right field. You love the fact that it's the other way on this situation. And one down here in the third. It's James Wood. He's over one with a ground out. Swinging a chopper back toward the mound. Freed has it go off his glove, and he'll have no play. Abrams will score as the Nationals lead two to nothing. He tried to pick up an in-between hop on a chopper and fanned on it. That's a huge break as Freed, a two-time Gold Glove winner, couldn't come up with it. Now here's Yepes off the end of the bat. Freed can't get to that one either. And then it's bobbled by Biggio. Deja vu all over again. And the bases are loaded. Max Freed, no doubt, very frustrated right now with some of the luck that is not going his way. Tana had a good night last night. He had a couple of base hits. Both hits were doubles last night. Swing and a miss. One two sweeper gets Tana two away. And now the eighth batter of the inning and Ruiz will come to the plate. And he struck him out elevating a fastball. Nice job by Max getting the back to back strikeouts of Tana and Ruiz after the bases were loaded. A two run score for the Nationals. And there is the Braves first base runner a walk to Jorge Soler. And now things turn over here to Marcelo Zuna. Swing a ground ball to short should be two. Abrams underhands to Tana for one all day to first to get the jogging Ozuna for a double play. So Urban's first base runner, a walk, is erased on the double play. These are those innings, though. They, look, this, this the third inning, the amount of pitches that a guy throws. Keep the pressure on him. Keep the pressure on him. 
swing a blast to straightaway center and deep. Harris, forget about it. This one into orbit, and it hits the bullpen cart beyond the center field wall. Oh my, what a blast for Abrams. 3-0 Nationals, number 20 on the season. There was never, ever a doubt about that one. Abrams knew at the moment it left his bat. You can see the frustration on Max Fried's uh, face here. He said he's used to pitching the contact, but not not giving up this many hits. Right. You know, anytime you're out there on the mound and you see balls flying all over the place, it's just kind of disconcerting. Swing a ground ball toward the hole. It's fielded by the shortstop. Arcia to second for one. The relay to first is in time, but on the play, Chaparro comes in from third to score. It's now Washington four and Atlanta nothing. Well, the Braves still without a hit here. A walk and an error, but that only two base runners against Jake Irvin. Harris drives one to right field. Dylan Cruz can't get there. That splits the gap and up the alley all the way to the wall. Michael Harris to second base, and the Braves finally have a base hit. So the no-no is gone for Irvin. See now if the Braves can get something across. Jorge Soler is coming to the plate with two outs. And he will hit one hard to deep center field. Young going to go back. That is over his head all the way to the wall. Make it back-to-back -back doubles by Harris and Soler, and the Braves finally on the board. It's now a 4-1 game. That ball was shredded by Jorge. Got the barrel right on it. You know you've hit it hard when you get it over Jacob yeah. Young in center field. Here is Ozuna. Ozuna's twice grounded out to short. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a high fastball. So Irvin gets a huge strikeout. The no-hitter in the shutout bid gone, but Irvin limits the damage to one run on two hits. All right, the Braves in business here in the seventh inning. Put him at second and third. Good at bat by Laureano. Now a base hit here can make it a one-run game. Now a big opportunity here for Murphy. Well, swing and a miss. He had Murphy lunging at a pitch in the other batter's box. Derek Law, a big punch out for out number two. Well, a big spot here for the man playing his first game in a Braves uniform, Kevin Biggio. Swing a pop-up, shallow left. Out goes Abrams, in comes Wood. James is going to get there. Wood makes the catch. Braves can't get anything across. It remains 4-1. to one. Now the Braves have something brewing. Runners at first and second, one out. And the second time in back-to-back -back innings in which the Atlanta Braves are going to bring the potential tying run to the plate. That one skied down the right field line. Dylan Cruz toward the side wall, and he has it in foul territory. Lead runner tagging and moving the third is Harris the second, and there's two down. And now you will get that lefty-lefty matchup between Ferrer and Olsen. Fastball chopped back to the mound. Ferrer has it. Jogging toward first, the underhanded flip to Yepes, and the inning is over. So the seventh inning and the eighth inning, two very frustrating frames for the Braves as they strand them in in scoring position both innings. Close play, but it's Jose Tena with a head first slide for the stolen base. And he's into scoring position with two outs. Swing and a line drive into right center field. Coming on to Soler, he won't get there. It drops in for a hit. Rounding third, coming home to score is Tana. Running on contact with two out on a bloop single in the right center for K. Bear Ruiz. His 50th run batted of the year gives the Nationals an insurance run here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And so now it's Washington five and Atlanta one. Tough luck there for Hernandez and the Braves. Despite the fact it's not a save situation anymore, Kyle Finnegan is in again. Sean Murphy's the last hope for the Braves here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Ground ball to third. Vargas scoops it. Runs halfway to first himself. And the Nationals wrap up a 5-1 win. It was all Braves last night winning 12-0. But the Nationals get their revenge. They had already won the season series versus the Braves. And they win tonight in the final meeting against the Braves.